morning guys today is august 21st 2017 how you guys doing how you living today is a good day today is the day of the total eclipse um that a total eclipse will cross over america how do you feel about it do you feel it has spiritual significance do you not i kind of do for me at least and we'll talk about that in a second before that i need to get some food in my system i haven't eaten i'm actually gonna go out and get me something to eat in my pajamas I'm probably gonna get myself a bagel that's what i feel like right now all right i got my food oh super excited about eating it got myself some coffee too um i ordered the coffee black now so that i can put my non-dairy creamer in it <laughs> i found this one that i like if you guys um use any non-dairy creamers that you like please let me know what they are down below that i'm really interested in, in trying i tried this one this new one some of you guys told me in the last video i actually should really go back and see which ones you guys said i know someone suggested the um so delicious so delicious coconut one which i've used in the past before it's good this one is like a coconut milk but i think they make it it's made by silk and um it's made by silk and it's like a sweet one so it's like already sweetened so i actually like it it kind of reminds me of dunkin donuts sweet sweet cream that i used to use kind of a little bit not really but it's still good your girl is back it's still Monday I got to see the eclipse which was so so cool that science part of me that's really what that's what really made me actually want to see it but you know for me it's more so I don't know why my snapchat has been blown up today the spiritual implications that really matter to me anyway consequently um, what I've done today um, is write down my um, or set my intentions. I know you guys noticed that I changed my hair. That's only because my other hair is being washed. Okay. <laughs> this eclipse really symbolizes a lot, and people feel like different ways about it. Um, some people feel like you know we're entering into um, feminine energy because um, the moon, you know, all the celestial. Um, celestial objects um are associated with a certain gender mother earth you know moon feminine passing over the masculine the sun so they're saying that you know we're into, into feminine energy or um people say that it's the significance of it passing over the u.s right now given the um climate so there's a lot out there but i think what i've gathered um in particular is um a reset you know and I know and I know some of y'all just I didn't know you were into astrology or astronomy to me really it isn't that I gather spiritual um, conclusions about almost everything and for me it's just it's a reset it's a reset because guess what this won't happen for another something years um, and so we started a clock over you know what I mean before you even judge come time the first of the year what do you guys do you guys you guys set intentions you guys set resolutions right that's the word the word that we use resolutions for the year things that you want to do things that you want to see manifest right why what is it about the first of the year it's, it symbolizes a reset and that's essentially what um the eclipse means one of the things that it means for me right it's a reset uh, what else do you do if you're west indian i mean i, I know other people do probably do this too um but you clean your, you clean your whole house i know growing up haitian come time the first of the year wake up early in the morning we pray as a family sometimes we would share our resolutions for the year we would eat our soup or, or drink our soup jumu and have our haitian bread and hot chocolate and then our mom would set us to go and clean the house from top to bottom you know, and I think it symbolizes, and I think it symbolizes a reset. And so guess what your girl did today? I did a lot of things. I prayed, meditated, um, I did some reading. I did some also listening to some of my, um, just my favorite spiritual um, teachers and also um, some, some of my favorite sermons. Um, I shared actually a 
piece from one of my favorite preachers on my Facebook page. So definitely follow me on Facebook if you aren't. I share a lot of inspirational things there. Um, I was actually present on that night that he preached that sermon and I shared it and it seemed that um, a few of you guys really enjoyed that. Um, and I'm closing it out really with I'm cleaning. So I don't know if you guys can hear the laundry. Laundry is going. I just vacuumed um, my room and um, I just did the floors in my bathroom, washing the hair. Um, I washed all my sheets. Okay. So I'm um, there, are my sheets right there. I'm about to put them. This is a um, mattress cover. Those are my sheets right there. I'm going to take my sheets and put them on the actual mattress and the pillow. Um, I had a box, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's all the way over there, I had a box filled with clothes um, still in my um, closet. So I took that box out, I'm washing the clothes that were in the box and as I'm finishing, I'm hanging up the clothes. That's what I've been doing today on um, Eclipse Day. August 21st, 2017. What I'm gonna continue doing, I'm gonna finish um, messing with that hair. I'm gonna condition it, deep condition it, all that jazz. I love this hair too, by the way. The only thing is that the way I constructed this one, it's not as comfortable to wear. It's a little tight, <laughs> that's the only thing. The other one I can wear all day, every day. I can sleep in it, whatever. And I think that's part of the reason why I love it. And the actual hair is beautiful. I actually looked at the hair straight for the first time because um, I flat ironed a little bit of it. I'm like, oh my goodness, this hair is gorgeous straight too. I just love it. Anyway, I'm gonna take myself a shower because I've literally, I've been in my pajamas all day all day do oh and to do my nails because this is disrespectful y'all these nails are so disrespectful now and that's just about it what happened why are you so upset why are you so upset let me get my hair tie from here that's all right baby girl what's bothering you hmm you want to get out yeah. You know your mom doesn't like when you do that. If your mother was here, you know you'd be in big trouble. She don't like when you yip at people like that. This is her throwing a fit, you guys. <laughs> She's throwing a fit. You know what she wants to do? She wants to get out of my room. She feels barricaded in here. And the reason why my door is closed is so that she doesn't go out to my sister's bathroom and jump in the tub. You're mad at your Tati. This is her throwing a fit. She won't come to me if I called her now. Sadie. She, she won't make eye contact. Sadie. Hey, princess. You're upset. I know. Y'all hear homegirl whining back there? Um, I promise you they are well taken care of. Sorry, you guys I had to stop and take Are you recording? <laughs> no, I'm vlogging. Who bears? They don't come greet me? Sadie was very upset just now. Was she? I can see Levy in the window. I didn't realize your window was so close to the floor. Only because I think she wanted to get out. Did she just leave? Yeah, Sadie, Yeah, come. she wanted to escape. I could tell. Sadie? She was trying to make her way to your bathroom, so I went and closed that door. And she's been upset. And I came in here and closed the door behind me. She's been ever, upset ever since. Yeah, she's gone. Sadie, come. I had, a, I had a picture of them both at the thing. I was trying to, oh, I got it in the vlog. Um, putting their feet on the thing, but then she moved. You know so I don't now, like that. You see like them doing like that? Oh. I got plenty of pictures of Levy doing yeah, it. Yeah, I saw him when I came up. Sorry guys, it's now like pouring rain outside. I don't know if you guys can see. Pouring rain. Alice just got home, She's chilling with the dogs, the spoiled babies. Red spoiled baby, and my spoiled baby, and my spoiled baby. He seems really intrigued by the rain for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, what was I was about to say. Um, today was a very quick day. Um, it what's today? Tuesday. To um, we had our. Some more orientation for um, our faculty position today. So we were able to meet our students mm -hmm. and everything. 
And so that was, what do you think? How do you think it went? Interesting. Yeah. I also made a comment. She made a comment that she had a diverse group in terms of where people were from. Um, Alice and I are both teaching, we're not teaching the same group of students, but we're te both teaching second degree students. So these are students that came here for their um, BS to BSN program. So these are people who came from other careers who now want to become nursing nurses, like a vigorous one year program. Um, so yeah, my students range from like New York mm -hmm. to um, California, literally. Um, so, yeah, and Alice, an Alice has an exchange student from China. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a really diverse group. So this should be very interesting. The good and bad thing for me is that there seems to be a lack of direction as far as the faculty goes. I mean, Alice has already done this so she knows like the setup and everything, but they're very much like, find your own way and do it. <laughs> and me being a new educator is kind of like, I really kind of prefer you guys give me like a, a, a skeleton and then I'll fill it in, but that's not really how they do it. There's a lot of freedom in being an adjunct faculty, which is nice, Yeah, you know, once you already know what you're doing. Yeah. But when you're first starting off, like, I now I'm realizing that now I'm filling in a lot of the holes. I'm like, wait, why are they mentioning this? But I guess it's just certain things you learn as you go along. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. um, so yeah, we don't actually. I guess next week is like the first real week. Mm -hmm. So that should be interesting. So it's just kind of nostalgic, like you know them talking about moving into the dorms or moving or moving to a new city period because I did go to um, school out of state or we both did. Love that it was a short day because um, it's going to be a long work week for me. I'm trying not to talk it, talk it up so much so I don't get so depressed about it because it's a long work week for me after today. Um, so, but we're going to get through it. We're going to manage, make it Ready work. You're so good. We're taking care of you best we know how. Yeah. You're a fighter, Sadie. You're a fighter. You're a fighter, mama. Yeah. Your mommy's a little fighter. Yeah. Mommy rescued you. Yeah, she did. For someone who's rescued, she's very, like, she's very spoiled. Yeah. I don't think they mistreated her. I think she's... I yeah, think... they didn't mistreat her. They just didn't have time for her because there's so many other dogs. Right, Sadie? Do you have too many dogs? Do you have too many dogs for you to get all the time and attention you like? Especially if this is the way she was. I can tell why they gave her up, though. <laughs> <laughs> when they think you don't know that they're roasting you. <laughs> That's what she did. <laughs> That's okay, mama. <coughs> We're not gonna give you up, mama. You're a needy baby. Guys, there's this question that just came up on um, one of the radio stations. My hands are so dry, Lord of mercy. And I wanna ask you guys, and you guys let me know what you guys think. So the question was, after you break up with someone, do you unfriend them on social media or do you guys remain friends? Why or why not? I'm interested to hear your reactions down below. When I think about all, I'm not gonna say all, like it's a lot, because obviously y'all know I've been single for like the longest. But the boyfriends that I have had friends with all of them on social media even the ones well let me say this we're all I'm friends with all of them on Facebook even the ones that like did me dirty um I just don't think it's really that deep I think it has to do with the type of person that I am too I don't share a whole lot on Facebook on my personal Facebook page only lately have I been sharing a lot more and that only really has to do with like my business and some of my life updates um, but very generic stuff like I don't even think that I ever put on Facebook that I moved um, but like you know stuff like that typically I would put up there <laughs> um, 
but I'm friends with all of them on Facebook. Now, as far as Snapchat, I'm not friends. I'm friends with one of them on Snapchat, but we have a really good, good, good relationship. Um, and he's really like, I tell you, he's really like the exception when it comes to maintaining a really good relationship with your ex. Like I talked to him the other day. I talked to you guys about him before. Um, he's actually married now, which has been um, different for me. He's married and um, has a baby girl. I was gonna say on the way, but she was born recently. So that's like been an adjustment and whatnot. But um, yeah, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys stay friends on social media? Do you not? Instagram, hmm, I'm, I'm friends with some of them on Instagram, some of them not, um, but not even, to, it's, and that's not purposefully, that's just, um, you know what, let me park over here, let me park, ooh, 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 ooh. right here, right here, that's not purposely, I really don't share that much on, like, social media, um, I think the place where I probably show the mo share the most is on Snapchat and then YouTube being second to that. So there's really nothing, I don't really have anything to hide. Like, I am a private person, but it's not like the things, it's just that I don't care to share everything about my life with everyone, but it's not because I necessarily have anything to hide, if that makes sense. But anyway, y'all, I'm at work. I am here seven minutes early. What up, guys? Let me see. Uh-oh. One. Hi, this is Patricia. Um, yeah, I was getting a report from Deb. I'm sitting down. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Okay. Thank Alrighty, you. Alrighty. Thank you. Bye. Hold on, guys. Let me do this because <coughs> they're already calling to complain. Sorry guys, it got kind of busy, but it's time to have lunch. So I'm eating tofu, veggies, and some brown rice. And then what I put in it, um, just to kind of give it a little bit of kick, is um, Kung Pao sauce. And I buy it from like the grocery store, but it's the kind from P.F. Chang's. So I just put two tablespoons of that, half a cup of rice, a cup of vegetables, and then, and then, um, some tofu so it's really good I also have some coffee um, and um, just to help get me through my shift I also brought my book yeah I've been reading I told you guys about it several times now still I'm loving it hopefully I can put a little bit more of a dent in it and then I also have um, my iPad here because I've been bringing the iPad to work and listening to my sermons while I'm here at the desk. Or well, not my sermons, but sermons while I'm here at the desk. Sorry guys, it got busy again. Like I was saying, I'm bringing the iPad to work to um, listen to sermons and whatnot. So I think I mentioned this earlier. Actually, there's a story that I wanna tell you guys about that, but maybe I'll tell you guys later in the vlog because the person that the story is about is working today and she can walk in at any moment. I actually listen to sermons quite often. Um, it's just a way that I, you know, keep the word in my heart and just keep me in like a positive spirit. I typically listen to my favorite preachers, like my favorite sermons that I've heard from them or their most recent um, sermons if I can find them on you know their church's website so some of my favorites you probably haven't heard like i don't really l listen to mainstream um preachers only because i think i've mentioned this on the vlog before um i seek you know a level of um passion a level of study that is often missed not even just in mainstream Christian gospel preachers but 
just in general. So yeah, I listen to people like um, David Asherick, uh, Myron Edmonds, uh, Wesley Knight. Um, those are like some of my favorites. Yeah, just to name um, a few of the ones I listen to the most often. Let me know who are some of your favorite preachers down below. Um, if I do listen to like um, mainstream um, preachers or like well-known preachers, preachers that you probably would know, um, it would be T.D. Jakes, but that I don't. That doesn't happen often, really. Anyway, let me go. I'm gonna finish my coffee. What up, guys? Let me close this door so I don't wake up the whole house. I feel like I started the vlog in this bathroom and ended it in this bathroom, but I promise I have different pajamas on. I would show you, but I got a bra on right now, and I don't want to disrespect y'all like that. I just got back from work. It's like it's nighttime sometime, y'all. If I actually, I've been avoiding talking to you guys about my work schedule because I know how y'all get. Whatever. Um, I know y'all care about your girl, and I know y'all would just do one of these to me if y'all knew what kind of schedule I've been working like. But we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it after the fact, okay? Anyway, this week was good. <clears throat> it was an up and down type of week. I would manage, I felt like I was gonna go into like, um, every once in a while I, I get like this, okay? <laughs> um, I'll have a little mini like meltdown because I was looking at my work schedule and like everything I had to do and I'm like, mm, Patricia. But I managed to keep myself up, right? With the sermons I was watching, with the book, Still Miss Speaks, um, and with just taking moment by moment, I was able to prevent myself to go into a breakdown. Because I'm like the type of person, and y'all tell me if y'all like this too, I will go hard, go hard, go hard, and I just put everything in it, right? And then I'll crash. And then I'll just, like, you know, have a meltdown. And then I'll just do it again. It's like this never ending cycle. And that's why that book is really, really helping me. But I wanted to come back on because I realized I was editing the video and I, the vlog, and I didn't end it. So that's what I wanted to do. But before you go, before you go, I wanted to share the story that I mentioned earlier for you guys. And I promise I'll try to make this quick so I don't have to take forever to edit this part. We're already at three minutes. So I was at work and I was listening to a sermon on the iPad and um, I was letting it play. One of my staff or my coworkers, whatever you want to call it, came inside of my office. Now she came to get something, but I realized that she was taking her time. I could tell she was listening to the sermon. So I realized she wasn't going to leave. I said, let me, let me try something. Turn the sermon off. And she says to me, no, I don't, I don't mind if you listen. I don't mind if you listen to that. Um, you can go ahead and play it. I say, you sure? She said, yeah, I'm fine. Press play. And do you know she stayed there for the whole sermon? Those of you guys who follow me on Twitter probably remember when I tweeted it out to the preacher, actually, um, the story. And then afterwards, um, she just talked to me about some things she was going through. Um, and also asked me, she was like, you know, who was, who was that that you were listening to? And I told her. And just how much that moment just meant so much for her. And I just want to like remind you guys that, you know, people are watching you. You know, whether you know it or whether you not, whether you don't know it, right? And, you know, we like to think that in order to share um, Christ with others, if that's your stilo, you have to be a preacher or you have to be a singer or you have to be a teacher or you have to be like this biblical scholar but you really don't you just have to show people christ right and they will get to know him through you now if you act in a fool you know how are they going to get to know him you know and so i just wanted to remind you guys of that and i also wanted to share the sermon with you guys I watched it again today. I watch this sermon pretty often, actually. And every single time, even talking about it right now, I'm getting choked up. I cry. I cry. I cry. I want you to sit there, guys, and I truly want you to watch the whole sermon, okay? I want you to watch it so much that I might even do, let's do a giveaway. Let's do that, okay? <clears throat> you can actually find me 
Okay, this particular day, um, this particular week, my one of my favorite preachers came to our school. Okay, I told you guys I attended a Christian school, a, a Christian HBCU. And um, he came to our school to do, I think it was a week of prayer or a week revival. I'm not sure, but the series was called Friend of God. This particular day, he preached a sermon called, What Wondrous Love Is This? Something like that. What wondrous love is this? And I was in the house. I was there every day, every night, okay? Every night, and this night was no different. And you can actually spot me. If you look very close, you know how they pan into the audience or whatever, you can actually spot me. If you spot me and you tell me what color top I was wearing, I will send you a 50 dollar gift certificate to or gift card to Sephora let's do that okay surprise giveaway in the vlog you even know it's gonna be here if you watch all the way to the end I'm gonna put a link to the sermon below and if you like if you see it, if you watch it, like I didn't see you because you guys you don't have to be you gonna have to be looking okay you gonna have to be looking I didn't see you but um this is the way I feel about the sermon. Let me know. I want to hear what you guys think. See if you guys touch you as much as me. It touched me. If you guys are having issues with um, knowing your value, knowing your worth, knowing how special you are, I think this is a really good one to watch. Okay? I'll leave it down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Watch it. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Let me know if you saw me. And you real and you saw what color I was wearing and all that. Let me know down below. I'll be, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you guys. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so awesome. You guys are so positive. You guys tell me, should you inspire me? Well, guess what, guys? You guys inspire me. You really do inspire me to just to keep on to be better, to keep on doing what I'm doing, um, even when I don't feel like it. And I appreciate that, guys. I love you guys. And we're seven minutes and 30 seconds in. I hope all is well for you and I'll see you guys soon with another video. And as always, God bless.